It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paycorp Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Carolina Panthers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to, where exactly on the field the defense is vulnerable. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Open man left side. It's the tight end. Oh, there, nearly an opening drive, INT. The throw over the middle, take it. A carry for Foreman. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. We just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he is brought down, but not before Riveter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. And place it on first down. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Off the bootleg. Fry rolling to his left. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Ian Thomas, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are on the board first here this afternoon. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. And they get him down, but not before he takes zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on it, and they pick up a first down. Now it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Yitor Gross Matos getting in there to make the play. I will hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And Boyd. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. The tight end the ball carrier. The tackle by Damian Wilson. So their first drive of the game already trailing, having given up points. But a little surprised that they went for it, right? Maybe the big guy, the head coach. Game, not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. And he's got some space here. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Burrow will throw. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. So we head to halftime. Throwing on second and three. Burrow. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. Break as they come up, first and goal. Burrow looking to pass. That's to Chase, he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. First half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter. Beyond that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're in. Now it's Burrow. And that is taken in by Hurst. And so second and ten, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try to keep bodies in front of them. In that game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11 from deep in their own territory. 
Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. At this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And they'll get... Now Burrow on first down. And this will get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll to do next. They'll try to eat some clock with Mixon. This goes out wide for Mixon. 40. Okay, but, hey, they got enough points to get the job done. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that part, man. Such a low-scoring game. It completely changes everything you're planning to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough...